Welcome back guys. I'm back with a little show and tell of what I used on my vacation to keep track of the things that I did uh, while I was there. I took this little bag here that you see if you've noticed uh, or if you watched the videos before on organizing and a thrift shop haul back in the day. I'll try to link it. This was in it. It's supposed to be a toiletry bag or something but I'm using it as my journal carry-all. I basically carry all of my items in this bag for when I do go and travel. In this front pocket, I will show you the items that I have. And excuse my kitty cat, he has been very attached the last few uh, days since we've been back. He's been really attached to me. He's been sitting on my desk. He's been just around me wherever I am. He's at. So I'm being very patient with him because I know he missed me and he didn't know what was going on. He usually sits on this desk and I, while I watch my videos, right now I'm watching Sterling Style and that's one of my videos that I'm watching and he'll sit in front of the computer and I have to move my keyboard to one side or the other. But anyway, let me show you what I've got here. Uh, these are the little things that I did take. Uh, we had a road bingo for my granddaughter with these stamp markers or their stamps, but they mark. We have a little uh, ghost and a paw print so she can stamp the restaurants or road signs or gasoline stations that she sees on the road. I don't have it with me because I gave it to her and I think it's either in the car or still in the bags. We still have not unpacked. I still have bags in there and <laughs> oh boy. But anyway, my daughters gave me some stickers from the cities that we have visited. Uh, they gave me these two. I don't know where I'm going to put them at, but there's a couple of empty travel mugs that I have that I will probably use it. The envelopes were for a little activity for my granddaughter to put something in the envelope, mail it to herself. Uh, so when she got back from vacation, you, she would be receiving things in the mail, letting her, you know, kind of like continue her little vacation and remembering because with kids, it's kind of hard to, you know, let go. They're like on a very high mountain and they get home and it's just like they want to continue to see that. So I collected some stuff. We never did do it, never got to it. It was really busy, very busy. So what um, I wanted to go ahead and do was just keep like a little written uh, record of everything. Now in the inside of this toiletry bag or whatever bag style you want to call it, I carry lots of my journaling things like my scissors and my tape adhesive. Uh, my glues, my pop-up uh, little thingies, stamps for in case we did remember to mail out those envelopes. Tons of stickers, guys. Tons of stickers. And in this little polka dot bag, I also carried an extra uh, set of items that I might need if I just wanted to carry those with me to the outside in the patio or to the beach or something. I wouldn't be carrying everything with me. I would just put everything in there that I needed. So I went ahead and just stashed everything I might need and uh, this is a little uh, pamphlet that I got from the Hopper Rentals. This is a little boat that we rented. My son and his girlfriend rented this little boat. Uh, we all got in it and we all had a chance to drive it. That was so much fun to do but very hard to maneuver. I will not become a captain of a ship anytime soon. So the stickers that I had were from my stash and also I bought one package from the 99 or the Dollar Tree when we were there and I just wanted to find one specific sticker which was a sandcastle and I'll show you that in a little while. I collected lots of other ones from my stash. I took my markers that I usually use for uh, painting or brushing or you know illuminating anything that I have and this is the set that I carry with me and it's a dual tip so and I also carry my Cricut black fine tip I love the way it writes uh, I have some uh, label taggies flaggy taggies or whatever they're called uh, I carry some other little things that might you know go ahead and help so that's that bag now I want to show you what I have here with this organizing uh, I don't know what it's called. It's like a planner, 
but it doesn't have planner sheets it only has plain sheets and what I did is I went ahead and collected the pages that I needed and I put them in here so I can take it with me and that was basically what I wanted to get done so I didn't have to take a big old uh, notebook or anything like that I can always take extra pages out and then just add this to my planner uh, insert that I have at home I did write some stuff. I collected the card that they give you so you can, uh, you know, get into your room. And then I have this sandals off and enjoying the moment. You know, that's something. I wrote a little bit of things so I can later remember of what happened. Uh, I also uh, wrote daily. I did a little uh, drawing of the place that we stayed at. It was a two-story bedrooms on top full bath and a quarter bath downstairs with the living room and kitchen a patio with a jacuzzi which was very much enjoyable after walking on sand I did forget how hard it is to walk on sand so love the jacuzzi so I'm just showing you here little pictures of what I drew I am NOT an architect so I don't draw correctly but it gives you the idea that's the upstairs and the other side is the downstairs and pretty much that is uh, what kind of it looked like uh, if you can tell from the pictures that I drew. Um, and more, draw, uh, more writing of the activities that we did. I think Wednesday was a full day. Most of my kids were there. My son, my girls were there. And um, we did uh, boat ride, we did bike ride, and then um, that night we had dinner together before my son and his girlfriend had to leave. That was a very much enjoyable day on Wednesday. I loved having the whole family together. And guys, if you guys watch me, thank you guys for giving me such a wonderful day. Um, you know, with the other activities that we had, it was amazing. I did take some stuff. I'm sorry I'm out of frame. I don't know what happened. Here we are. This is a little card they give you with your keys. And, of course, the code is not valid anymore. So it doesn't matter if you watch it, see it. But I collected these little things because for journalists, um, we basically are scrapbookers or whatever. We like to collect little things that you can use as, you know, uh, memories. And that I was uh, collect. I got the menu from the Toppers where we went to go have uh, pizza, and then we had this amazing cookie ice cream, or it was a cookie with ice cream on top, vanilla, and it melted all over the hot cookie. It was so mushy and incredibly so good. I mean, I want another one. But Toppers is not everywhere. It's family owned. It's not a franchise, so they're very limited restaurants of toppers in here i believe i don't know where they're else they're at but that's what i collected i got some pictures that's the wrapper for the soap that i got and here we are on the road again this is the tuesday we drove a hundred miles from where we're at to get to our place we did have to stop at a grocery store because smart me forgot instant cart or instacart um but i want to write in these little boxes uh little things that i did and maybe some pictures to go with it on the side and then on wednesday of course the bike rides and, and the boat ride and i want a picture there with the family there's tons of pictures i just have to print them and i haven't done that yet because why i don't know so the activities basically um was mostly on thursday on wednesday thursday we had thrift shops uh hopping and a sandcastle competition which my granddaughter five-year-old granddaughter just became the judge we all nominated her as a judge and we went ahead and had our own pop pops won with somebody else's creation somebody had left something at the beach and he just declared it him his my granddaughter said he is the winner so he won and we all had lots of little things um, in the video that I have of my travels you'll see the different sandcastles that were created by everybody 
and that's the sticker that I was telling you I was looking for something like that and that was the only package that had that sticker so I was sad that it was only one package but then surprised that I did find it here's some more stickers from that package a little hat um, and sunglasses sunscreen a little bucket that we use to make our sand castles uh, 3d image type of thing it's popped up it, it was so much fun um, and then on Friday, well, Thursday night, we had the gondola ride. That was amazing. Watch the video, guys. The guy sang Fly Me to the Moon by Frank Sinatra. And this is a young guy. And he was under a bridge and he was singing. I didn't record. I, I recorded him, but I didn't put him on the video. Um, I don't know why. And Friday, sad day, we had to leave the place. It was an amazing vacation. We did go to a Dollar to Store, um, Dollar Tree on the way home, and we did visit Little Tokyo. So those are the places on the way home. We got some lots of sweets from Little Tokyo Bakery Shop. And there you go, guys. Thank you guys so much for staying till the end. Until next time, enjoy the pictures.